A number of hotels in Kilifi County are attracting new investments as tourism activities pick up to pre-COVID levels. The new investments are as a result of increased bookings due to the government's decision to scrap the visa requirements for visitors. According to the annual tourism sector performance report, in 2022, international arrivals stood at 2.3 million visitors, with local tourists standing at 913,000. The numbers are expected to considerably increase this year to pre-COVID levels due to the government's decision to scrap visa requirement for visitors. Hey, tourism, I think, are uh, going well for all hotel of uh, Watamu area, Jacaranda area. Uh, also, the government, uh, really, they are moving another type of visa, at what understood. Uh, probably they reduce the price, uh, they, they are more easy to obtain uh, the visa. Some investors are rushing to complete extensive expansion, renovations and modernizing the hotels to attract more high-end clientele as tourism activities pick up. So we're looking forward really to revive Malindi as a town, to bring uh, life into Malindi with fitness, health, luxury accommodations and food drive employment, uh, drive investment and, and, and really uh, rebuild Malindi as a prime destination on the coast of Kenya. The resort town of Watamu expects to receive over 35,000 tourists this year. The tourism in this moment is very, is very good. Watamu is, is growing very fast. We can uh, easily think that we will reach more than 35,000 occupancy for this year in uh, in guest last year several coast hotels won big during the 30th world travel awards africa and indian ocean gala ceremony held at the atlantis the royal in dubai the united arab emirates indicating the improved attractiveness of kenya as a destination Ndutamokami for lunchtime news